John Truitson from Bemidji State University. Uh, there's been interesting contro controversy lately about the fact that it seems like the constant. Uh, it was known even over 2,000 years ago that the sun uh, was changing as far as location in the constellations. So this is not a new phenomenon. Maybe it's new to some people, but it's not new at all. So I'll do this, show you the simulation, and then you can judge for yourself whether it makes any difference or not. So, thank you. As we discussed earlier, uh, <clears throat> the sun sign is based what constellation the sun is in at the time at during that period. So if you're say an Aquarius, that means the sun was in the sign of Aquarius. However, this is only true for the time when astrology was first developed about three thousand years ago. Here we have a representation of the uh, sky about 3,000 years ago, to be precise, 1,023 B.C. And what we're going to do is go through the, the course of a year and where the sun is located in different constellations. So see, here we see in the middle of January that the sun is entering Aquarius. And so we'll go through this. All right, it is now in the middle of February, is entering Pisces. Then it enters Aries, then Taurus in the middle, middle of April, then Gemini in the middle of May, then we start seeing it enter Cancer in the middle of uh, June, then Leo, Virgo, in the middle of August, then Libra in the middle of September, and Scorpius, and now we see it entering actually a somewhat unknown constellation at the time, Ophiuchus, which is the cause of the concern lately as we have a new constellation. Uh, actually, uh, this, according to constellations, uh, this is what it actually would appear. Now, nowadays, we see that it actually is entering a little smaller time. So now we have in middle November, getting at December, uh, Sagittarius. We then have middle of December, enters Capricorn. And then back in middle of January, we're back into entering Aquarius where we were the previous year. So that's the constellations as they originally were about 3,000 years ago. Now we're going to show what the sun sign is, is where the sun is located in the various parts of constellation for uh, 2011, which is part of the pro cause for this consternation lately. There's, it's not that it has suddenly changed, but over the course of 3,000 years, where we have the sun on January 13th today, in reality, uh, it is now in Sagittarius. 3,000 years ago, uh, the sun was just entering Aquarius. So over the period of about 3,000 years, the sun's position for this particular date has moved from this location here to over here, meaning the constellations have been shifted by slightly over a month now. So, so that's what we see today. So now if we look at the period constellations over a course of a year, then what we'll see is that and now it then enters Capricorn and it's and instead of entering Aquarius in the middle of January, it now enters it in late February. And it enters a Pisces into mid-March. Aquarius, uh, us Aries, I should say. Taurus. 
Then it enters Gemini in mid-June. Cancer. Leo. Then Virgo. Libra. And then a little bit of time in Scorpius. Then Ophiuchus. But this is no different than would have been 3,000 years ago. Um, as far as such. So if you want to have 13 constellations of the zodiac, that would have been true 3,000 years ago. Is that at the time Scorpius was, uh, Oph Scorpius was the constellation there. Then it enters Sagittarius, and we're back to where we were um, the previous year. So this is what it would look like on 2012, as far as January. Okay.